giving him thanks. Uh, Satan will also want to set up traps for us so that we will not want to give him thanks. But we thank God for how far he has taken us this far. And this is our prayer. So I just want us to start first by just really thanking God for this opportunity that we have to really be in his presence today. Um, I don't want us to take it for granted um, having access to this presence because somebody paid for it. And the person's name is Jesus. The access that we have to God was paid for by somebody with his blood on the cross to grant us access to God's presence. So I want us to thank God and thank the Lord for this great access that we have, that he has given us to have access to the Heavenly Father, that we can come boldly before his throne of grace. Hallelujah. To exalt Amen. his holy name, to receive mercy and to receive help. If you have um, listened to the message on last week, Thursday, for those who didn't attend um, the prayer, uh, very important to listen to it because as we're giving God thanks, you will find out as we're doing that this month that even Satan himself will want to, you know, find a way to um, affect our heart by bringing offenses or cause people who then want to sow negative things into our heart in order to deter us or move us away from, from giving thanks to God. So we need to be aware of that. We need to put our guards up to make sure that even when Satan does that, we're able to continue in our thanksgiving and not deviate from it. It's very important. Um, so if you have been through such a thing, please make sure that you keep your thanksgiving going. Satan is trying to throw something into your heart in order for you to deviate from the purpose and your focus by giving thanks to God. So please let's keep giving him thanks. Even though after this one hour prayer, don't let it just be restricted to an hour prayer of thanksgiving. During the day, give him thanks for what he has done and what he's still going to do and for what we're expecting him to do in these 21 days of uh, thanksgiving prayer that we have. So I want us to step forward. There's a scripture. I'm going to read scripture and we thank God for that scripture. That's what I want to do today. Then if some of you have written down your all the things that God has done for you and the one you're expecting him to do, we're going to go into thanksgiving for those things as well. Thanksgiving for what God wants to do at the, 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 at the tribe this year. That is massive, so we're going to thank him for that. So, But before we start, I want to read the scripture to you. So I'll read the scripture, then we'll thank God for the scripture. And scripture number one is this, very important scripture. And this is in Psalm, 10, Psalm 103, yes, Psalm 103. And it says, um, so sorry, Psalm 130, Psalm 130, verse 3. It says, if, if you, O Lord, kept track of iniquities, it said, then who, O Lord, could stand? If God to keep record of iniquities, he's saying that among the, everybody in this whole earth, they who can stand. He said, but with you, there is forgiveness, so that you may be feared. If God should mark record of iniquity, it says who can stand. So I just want to thank God. I want to thank the Lord Jesus Christ for the blood of atonement, the blood of Jesus Christ that has cleansed us from all sin, that has given us this beautiful access before the throne of God. So that's one of the things that the blood of Jesus Christ did. It quenched the rage that was in God's eyes. It broke the wall of partition giving us direct access to the Father. So the Lord Jesus Christ said, I, I'm not going to pray with you or sell, telling his disciples. He said, you will pray to the Father yourself and the Father will hear you and answer you because he has given us access. So we're thanking God for this access. In the old covenant, they didn't have such access. In fact, they were afraid of the presence of God. But through Christ, we have access through his blood before the throne of God himself to fellowship with him. So I want us to just raise our voices and just say, Father, we thank you for the blood of atonement that has granted us access into the holiest of all, that we can come and fellowship with you. For this, we give you thanks. Let us just unmute and just give him thanks. Father, we want to say a huge thank you for the great oh, access God. that you've given us to your holy place. For the we want to say thank, thank you for that into your holy place. Thank you, Father. Now, 
Sarabasa, 
Amen. Amen. I want to, Amen. I just want to read a bit of Psalm 103. And uh, when I read it, then we start giving thanks again. Uh, so I read from verse 2. And I just want to, we, we looked at this uh, uh, on Thursday uh, when we we're going through uh, the sacrifice of Thanksgiving, Psalm 103. I want to read it again. It said, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Now let's look at yeah. his benefit and we thank you for his benefit. He said, Who forgives all your iniquities? Benefit number one. Thank you, Father, yeah. for forgiving all our iniquities. Benefit number two, who heals all your diseases. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for healing all our diseases. Who redeems your life from destruction? Thank you, Father. Redeeming our life from destruction, meaning there's a trap system set for us. But God did not allow us to fall into that trap. He redeemed us from it. If he didn't do that, oh my God, nobody God knows where we will be. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. And I can understand number four, when God says who redeems our life from destruction. I can understand this very well from my perspective. This year has been a glorious year for me because I will never allow Satan to take any glory. But I've, it has been a serious, serious year in terms of every attack from everywhere. You know, uh, my mom, my, 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 uh, my parents, they've been in hospital for like three months. One thing or the other, spending money, attacking and praying heavily. For God has restored both of them and they are fine and they are well. But this is what I'm saying, that when God says he redeems your life from destruction, whatever destruction that had been planned last year, that God redeemed us for, we thank him for it. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercy. This is beautiful. Who satisfies your mouth 
with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. He said, the Lord executes righteousness and justice for all who are oppressed. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I don't know how uh, people, Satan can pollute people's mind about God and say God is not good. Maybe if people don't read their Bible, maybe. But these are beautiful promises that these are the benefits that the psalmist was explaining to us, you know, that is attached to this God being in our lives, forgiving all our iniquity. And he kept using one word, all, all, all. He didn't say forgive some of your iniquity, forgive all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases. All means all. He crowns us with loving kindness and tender mercy. He satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth will be renewed like the eagle. He said, the Lord executes righteousness and justice for all, against all who are oppressed, not for some who are oppressed. So people saying there's no more healing or healing has passed or deliverance has passed. But this scripture is telling us he gives justice and he executes righteousness for all who are oppressed. So I want us to raise an offering of thanksgiving based on what I read so far. Offering of thanksgiving from the depth of our heart for God's goodness, that this God is good. That is the whole conclusion of what we just read now, that God is good. That's the whole conclusion, nothing else. This God that we are serving is a good God. So I want us to raise an offering. When I mean raise an offering from the depth of your heart, from what I've read, you are giving God glory. And this offering is ascending to heaven. So I want each and everyone to unmute from your heart to say, Lord, we thank you for your goodness. That's what we're thanking. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We say thank you for, for, for giving us of all our iniquities. We say thank you for healing all our diseases. We say thank you for redeeming our life from destruction, we say thank you. From crowning us with loving kindness and your tender mercies, we say thank you. For satisfying our mouth with good things, Father, we say thank you. So let us unmeet and pray right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your goodness. We want to thank you for your goodness. We want to thank you, Holy thank Father, you. for who you are and what you, you represent in our life. Yeah. Thank you for your Barantaya, Rocoso, Cotarabashi, Tiribarantaya, Rocoso, Cotarabashi, Tiribarantaya, Rocoso, Cotarabashi, Tiribarakanaya, Rocoso, Cotarabashi, Tiribarantaya, Rocoso, Cotarabashi, Tiribarantaya, Rokosekatsaya <laughs> Rakaya <laughs> Rekaya, 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 Reka
We're going to, I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 17 and I'll read from 7 verse 7 to 8. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 7 to 8. I see a beautiful promise of God here and explaining to us what we're doing right now. He said, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord. Blessed is the man 
who trust in the Lord. The word trust here is quite a very strong word. It's talking about a man or a people who rely totally on God's integrity. To rely totally on, talk, on God's integrity, meaning you've made up your mind and you've settled it within you that God cannot fail me. God cannot fail me. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. Whose hope is the Lord. For it shall be, now it's explaining to us, using of figurative terms to explain to us how fruitful and flourishing such a person will be. And I believe strongly this is our experience as we give him thanks and glory for these 21 days. I strongly believe in this. Blessed is the man who trusts, he totally relies on God's integrity. The one integrity means somebody who is one with his word. Is yes, is yes, is no, is no. The opposite of integrity is, is hypocrisy. Somebody who wears different masks. So, blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and hope, and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not see when heat comes. But its leaves will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruits. Mm -hmm. People of God, I want us to praise God and thank God. He says this person, this ministry, whose trust is in God, whose hope is God, will be like a tree that is planted by the water. So the nutrients, the tea, the tree is receiving because of its position, the tree is positioned in a place whereby it can get all the nutrients that it needs year in, year out. Because it tells us that even in drought, you will not be anxious while others are anxious. And you will not cease from yielding fruit. Even when heat comes, it says you will not fear or you will not even see it. And your leaf will always be green. This is the area of flourishing. But it says this person is by the water and his roots has gone deep by the river. So this is our root as we're praising and thanking God and giving this God our first fruits this January, that the 21 days is to just give thanks to him as our first fruit. So I want us to offer now a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God right now for his faithfulness and for helping us to flourish. Now, this is only for people who want to flourish. If you, if you don't want to, you don't need to think. But those who want to flourish, the tribe is going to flourish this year. Nobody can stop that. Hallelujah. They haven't bond the, They have not bond the person where not even Satan. Nobody can stop that. The tribe will flourish this year. So we're giving God the glory. And when I say the tribe, I'm talking about you and I who are in the tribe and who are the tribe and all those who will come to join us. We're spreading through Africa this year. So I want us to offer a sacrifice of thanksgiving to God right now for his faithfulness and for helping us to flourish. Let us pray. Oh, Father, we thank you. Father oh, God we God thank, God. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Rakata <laughs> 
Thank you, Heavenly Father. 
Um, for those who were at the prayer um, altar on Thursday, I, I ask that we should put a list down, write a list of what God has done for us as long as you can remember, mm. you know, and then also the list of what we're trusting God for uh, that we see yet, we haven't seen the manifestation yet. And we want to lay that before God in prayer today. So we do, first of all, the list of what God has done for us, every single one, and we thank him for everyone. We want to list them out. I, I don't want it to we want to be intentional. I don't want it to just be, Father, thank you for everything. No, no, no. One after the other, listing them out, seeing them out. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. We want to be deliberate. So God knows we know what we're thanking him for. And we're referring to what we've done for us. So if you have your list, please you can open it. You can have it. You remember them from your mind and keep thanking God. We pray for that. And after that, we pray for the other one, which is the ones that you're expectant, you are, you are waiting for God, you have not seen the manifestation. Maybe you've been praying for it for a few months, few years. I believe you'll get a manifestation this month. So we're going to first of all go through the first loop, everything that you can remember. So first of all, pray the Holy Spirit, please bring my remembrance, everything that God had done. If you haven't written the list down, just in case it went at the, at the Thursday Father. prayer altar, the Holy Spirit will bring it to your remembrance. And start thanking him for it. So I want us to first of all begin to thank God for everything that He has done. Your eye that I healed, your I want it as tiny as it is that you know I just woke up early and woke up strong. Thank Him for that. My eyes are yes. working. Thank you for that. My brains are working. I can think I haven't gone deranged or, or, or deranged or mad. I thank you. My feet can walk. My toes are moving. My finger, everything that I can thank for my children, my wife, just continue going, your family. And, you know, we'll thank do five, you. ten minutes on this. Thank we'll do the next prayer. So let us pray. At least, at least before the Lord, I thank you for one. I thank you for two. Father God, we bless you as we begin to give you thanks now for everything you have done for us individually. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for everything that you've done for us, even at the time. Let us on midnight begin to thank God. God has done anything for you. If you haven't done anything for you, please don't pray. You don't pray to thank him if you haven't done anything. I will understand Thank you, Lord, for your name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, for revealing yourself to me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for putting the enemy to Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you for destroying every stronghold. Thank you for breaking every yoke. Thank you for 
Thank you, Father, for enlightening my family. Thank you, God. Thank you, Father, Hallelujah. You are 
this is our last prayer i'm pleased uh i bless god for what's going on here and i know we will yield the fruit of what we're doing the last prayer is really placing before the lord that which you expect and you are still expecting him to manifest that yet to manifest and let me give you a scripture that the lord gave me and it's proverb 23 18 proverb 23 18 please meditate on this i mean ponder upon it throughout this 21 days it says for surely there is an end and that expectation shall not be cut off this is what the lord is saying to us surely there is an end and your expectations our expectations will not be cut off so i want us to start by thanking god by using this scripture regarding our expectations on matters you haven't still seen result or manifestation so what are we doing we're just going to thank god that father i thank you lord because the end has come for this matter and name that matter the end has come for this matter and I, in my life and i thank you because my expectation concerning this matter will not be cut off it's just two areas of thanksgiving i'm thanking you first because the end has come for this issue or whatever the matter is and i'm also thanking you because my expectation you have a the, the one is for the end to come for that matter okay god has resolved this matter but you have expectation concerning that matter so it's a two-way thanksgiving and you have to thank you for both don't go and thank you for one and leave the other when you thank you for the end of that matter you now have to thank you that because i have expectation concerning this matter if it's poverty or lack the end has come for this lack in my life and poverty what is my expectation explosion of breakthroughs financial breakthrough that's the expectation so i'm thanking you also for the explosion of breakthrough in the area of my finance so it's a two-way thing two-way thanksgiving i thank you that the end has come for poverty and lack in my life for sickness in my life for delay in my life on successfulness whatever it may be and i thank you that this is my expectation in this area and that this is my expectation will not be cut off because my expectation is for financial breakthrough so that's the two way we thank god so whatever it is that you've written or that, or that you know that's still going within your uh, space right now, I want us to thank God that it has come to an end, number one. And secondly, your expectation concerning that matter will not be cut off. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Kabrande bo kabrazi keti because <laughs> Ratakukate 
stagnation. Raku Kapaleke in the name and head and cotton in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My hope was taken today. Let's say that the Kapana Kura was fire. Marie Kapano Sikan and the Emperor. Thank you, Lord, because they both my expectations. Rera Kabale Tabak shall not be so soon. In the name of Jesus, Rakabale, there shall be an exclusive financial victory in my life, Lord. He does the Palatama, and shall be not of thy horrible land and nation, Lord. He holds your words in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, Rabu Kabaraka Kabale Tabak. Rabali Sakapajata, because all of that, my sources shall be celebrated. You shall give me the pillow. In this new year, go to the Marcus Dabarara. No more stagnation, no more delay. Ramdaraba, take a gift. I receive speed, I receive speed. Thank you, Jesus, for the speed you are giving me, Lord. I take it. Thank you, Thank you for the opportunity. Open the door to me, Lord. This is it. Thank you, Lord, for the doors that I open, Lord. Thank you for the breakthroughs, O Lord. Has to come back. Exclusive financial breakthroughs. Thank you for the spirit, O Lord. I am giving to you. Thank you for the success I give you, Lord. In my career, thank you, Lord, for this good record I'm receiving. Concerning my career, it's a lot of Thank you for the book of those who Thank you for the head that I write in for me. Next, 
we just want to close the prayer now and i want to say father thank you because everything that we prayed for today thank you for answering our prayers daddy everything will end in praise whatever is going on in your life right now it will all end in praise it will all end in praise that you will give glory and praise to god so father for this we thank you we honor you we appreciate you thank you for accepting our prayer and lord help us oh god to continually praise you and thank you during these 21 days and let this be our uh, default mode from this moment onward after the 21 days let us continually continue to praise you in jesus mighty and wonderful name we pray and everybody said Amen, amen, and amen. amen. Please continue. Amen. amen. Please don't stop continuing the thanksgiving. Let it go beyond the one hour uh, during your daytime to, to say thank God before you sleep. Continue to thank Him. And I also want you to know that Satan is not happy what we're doing. So you're going to want to bring in things that want to aggravate you, upset you for that day, in, in order for you not to. You know, want to give thanks to God, but you must discard him, you must push him aside and continue. It's a fight. We are for this is warfare. You know, you begin to push him aside and continue to praise God. Do not let him steal your praise from God and thanksgiving. Don't let him steal it, please. It's just a note of warning. I know this thing will, will happen. That's why I'm warning you before. And some people might be experiencing it already. You know, so let's just keep our guard. And when he's trying to throw things in your heart, the whole essence or purpose of that is for you not to praise him. He hates it when you do that. So you must continue your thanksgiving to God as we continue our fast and pray, fasting and prayer. Thank you, and may God bless you all. Amen. Mr. Damola, anybody if you have anything to say over to you now? Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. We continue. Continue tomorrow, tomorrow same time, um, 6 p.m. Nigeria time, 5 p.m. Ghana, 7 p.m. Central and Southern African time, 8 p.m. Eastern African time, and um, 12 p.m. Uh, U.S. Eastern Standard time. So see you all tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Good night. Good night.